Enterprises, they need to embrace a digital first mindset to deliver great experiences to both their employees and their customers. But under the hood, there is a lot of work for both the technology services teams and operations teams to deliver those digital outcomes. A digital first mindset, it anchors on constant service availability without disruption to user experience. But the technical complexities, as well as frustrated employees, overworked staff, in addition to slow response times, slow service recovery, as well as the lack of innovation, they're all hindered by siloed services and operations teams to deliver those truly remarkable outcomes. Now, we're hearing a lot about generative AI and how these LLMs will remedy some of this complexity for companies. It may. However, is it safe for your company? And does your company have an AI strategy? ServiceNow can assist with some of these answers, starting with Service Operations Workspace. Now, this is an essential catalyst for driving a unified technical service operations strategy. Oh, and on that hot topic of AI, ServiceNow has been investing and working in this AI space for over six years and multiple releases. So let's go ahead and start with the core interface and experience, Service Operations Workspace or SOW. Now this provides a single pane of glass for both service agents and operations teams that are unique to them. It provides a single destination for core IT, such as incidents, problems, changes, logs, alerts, even the ability to predict or quickly resolve service degradations. Now, teams can improve service availability and reliability with instant collaboration, as well as problem identification and resolution. And overall, this dynamic workspace provides a personalized and configurable view to help teams focus on the task at hand, at the same time delivering those extraordinary customer experiences. So what does it look like when IT service management and IT operations teams work seamlessly together? Let's go ahead and take a look. So this is a typical global 5000 company and it was plagued by the silo business process, poor CSAT score, poor employee experiences, as well as year over year, they always miss their strategic initiatives around cloud and so on. This changed when the teams partnered with ServiceNow on their digital first service operations journey. So let's take a look at one example of this company's service operations journey. So this is Amelia. She is our on-call operations team member. We can see she receives a notification on her phone, but there's a potential outage and it looks rather serious. Now before ServiceNow, these proactive alerts were only a company aspiration. So returning back to her desk, Amelia immediately opens up the service operations workspace. She can see the key business service is indeed in a critical state. Since ServiceNow's predictive AI is actively monitoring enterprise-wide business services and application in this event management console, it's all within service operations workspace. And it's looking for those warning signs before something even happens and many times it's getting this team in front of situations like this. As she continues to dive deeper into this information, she's troubled by the number of alerts tied to this critical service. Notice that all of Amelia's key details, related records, metrics, service information, dependencies, even the service mapping are all in a single workspace. And with anomaly detection with machine learning, this has been transformative for this team as it looks for changes within a data pattern or an outliner, or even if an event falls outside a standard trend. If it's not right, it informs the team. So as Amelia continues on, she sees that ServiceNow's predictive intelligence and AI recommendation engine has surfaced some of the relevant knowledge base information to help her quickly solve this issue. So continuing on in this investigation, she dives into root cause and those meaningful log properties. And around this event, she's finding a probable root cause from a DevOps change. So since the adoption of ServiceNow's IT service solution and operation solution, Amelia and the operations teams have silo busting insights across workflow processes, both in services and operations, such as these configuration changes that may have impacted other various services. So earlier we touched on the ease of those cross team collaborations. At the top right, we can see MS Teams notification from our IT service agent, Lakshmi. 
So although SOW has built-in chat functionality, MS Teams is the preferred collaboration channel of choice for this particular company. And this is no problem for ServiceNow platform as it provides an unsiloed and seamless communication experience across any of those channels. So Lakshmi and the IT service management team have also been working on a major issue at the same time as the operations team. And they're working in service operations workspace as well. Like the operations team, Lakshmi has all the IT service specific information at her fingertips, such as incidents, problems, task at hand, catalog items, and it's all in one workspace. And we can see that the incident is related to the same business service. And after the team's call with Amelia, she's armed with critical information from the operations team. And she'll head back to her workbench to investigate this issue on hold. Now, before ServiceNow, the incident form details, such as the assignment, the related records, all these areas were manually entered. However, thanks to the Now platform, these are auto-populated, saving this services team a tremendous amount of time. And on the company's roadmap, Now Assist, another big time saver. This is ServiceNow's generative AI functionality, and it'll smartly summarize incident information, as well as important team interactions and possible solutions. Now, while this company does not have this today, Now Assist for IT agents would further the amount of time saved between teams with robust summarization and resolution functionality that we see here. So let's step away from that roadmap generative AI initiative to what the team is currently using day to day. It's ServiceNow's platform AI. We can see the platform AI intelligence has surfaced recommendations for Lakshmi to evaluate. Here we can see the recommendation is to propose a major incident. It's detected 40 similar incidents that have been created in the last couple hours. So as Lakshmi does some final research, she jumps into the investigation framework functionality. This framework, it investigates with the agent client collector and looks at key CI metrics. Now, earlier we saw Lakshmi reach out to Amelia on this major issue. So this begs the question, how did Lakshmi and services know that Amelia and operations was involved in this process? This is thanks to something we call experts on call. Now service operations workspace, it integrates with MS Teams, but it also takes other things a step further by even recommending individuals that have direct relationships with business services and applications. So in this case, Lakshmi has already teamed up with Amelia. They've passed on the rest of the workspace findings to help each other expedite this fix. So let's close out with Amelia and an operations team Amelia, now armed with the agreed upon cross-functional solution, decides to leverage the integrated playbooks with automated remediations. These are available to her through the service operations workspace. And they are automated remediations to speed up time to implement a fix or a workaround. And it helps the operations teams restore services quickly as possible. Now, Amelia informs Lakshmi and services that the crisis has been averted. She can go ahead and close out those major incidents. And Lakshmi quickly closes out the major incident with the workaround provided by the operations team and all the communication details, including the communications between Amelia and Lakshmi and MS teams are logged within the service operations workspace. And they can all be leveraged in the future by both the operations teams and the service agents for any kind of information or any other workarounds. So we just saw how Amelia from the operations teams and Lakshmi from the services teams collaborated in a unified workspace. Service operations workspace broke those traditional silos plagued by services and operations teams and really provided a modern unified service experience that can both predict and resolve service degradations quickly. This is the power of the ServiceNow platform and ServiceNow operations delivering on that digital first mindset. Now, for more information on this or any other information you heard today, please reach out to your local ServiceNow representative.